Let's see, since we had our initial scrub turnaround, well, that, that scrub turnaround two days ago, we completed draining of the uh, hydrogen and oxygen commodities of the tank, and we completed that boil-off process of the residual hydrogen and inerting. And so yesterday afternoon late, we picked up with that troubleshooting that Mike just described, ran those cycle tests on the PV-12 and that decay test. And then following that, we, uh, we went back into the tail service mast on the left-hand uh, liquid hydrogen tail service mast and, and performed some uh, leak checks there. Recall we had another um, problem indication about some slight hydrogen leak during the tanking phase on some leak detectors 29 and 30. And so we performed those inspections and, and uh, mass spectrometer leak checks around the tail service mast and found no leaks. So that's a good indicator. Um, so that one we believe that problem uh, right at this point uh, should not cause an issue for us. We saw no obvious leaks, so we'll watch it when we perform the next tanking. In the meantime, also, we uh, brought in some uh, tankers of uh, liquid hydrogen and oxygen and replenished the storage spheres uh, so as to provide for adequate uh, launch attempt capability for us for the next couple of days. We also uh, completed the uh, flight crew equipment uh, de-stow and re-stow of a couple of the uh, mid-deck experiments, and then we, uh, in, in effect, worked our pad closeouts. Today we were uh, reconfigured and ready to go uh, to perform a tanking for a launch attempt today uh, if the case were to, if, if we were allowed to. As it turned out, after uh, we uh, declared the, the uh, delay, Prior to tanking, the team has since now reconfigured back uh, from that T minus six hour posture that we were in. Uh, we've secured the uh, liquid oxygen and hydrogen storage areas. We now have uh, have pad access uh, restored, and we are in the process now of re-extending the rotating service structure. And the reason why we're doing that is to uh, accomplish changing of the th those forward thruster covers, those Tyvek covers that they're known. There's a seven-day change-out requirement. They would become due on Saturday. And we want to protect that capability to provide for launch attempts not only tomorrow night and Saturday night, but also possibly uh, uh, an attempt beyond that, too, before the window ends on the 30th. Uh, currently, our game plan is to complete those uh, those cover those thruster cover changeouts uh, overnight. It should take us between 8 and 10 hours. We'll plan to retract that rotating service structure tomorrow morning, sometime between 5 and 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. We'll complete the pad closeouts, and uh, we expect to be ready to, uh, to begin tanking the vehicle tomorrow afternoon, beginning at about 2.34 p.m. Uh, in anticipation of a launch attempt, as Mike described, uh, beginning with window open at 11.54 p.m. Uh, with the in-plane or preferred time at about 11.59 p.m. So in, in essence, the, I think the team is, uh, the team's in, been in great uh, shape in trying to get ourselves turned around with these, uh, with our scrub turnaround and our delay in this case. Uh, in parallel, we've had the, our system engineers and experts working with the integrated team to try to solve and understand uh, and capture our best uh, pre-planned contingencies and our opportunities to, to uh, as needed, perform any workarounds for the PV-12, uh, depending on what happens when we tank the vehicle next. In essence, we're ready to go.